Um, hello everyone, uh, my name is Darlington and, um, and uh, I currently work as the ecosystem associate agent and I'm um, also a contributor to like um, the Startnet Africa team. My name is Uluwa Duni, I'm a smart contract developer. Adigrita Dimola Kelvin, I'm a blockchain developer. I'm Uluwa Sincera, I'm a smart contract developer and also a technical writer. My first encounter with um, the Starknet ecosystem was um, in 2022 um, at the Web3 Lagos conference. So, um, Emmanuel and Darlington, they came to give a talk about Starknet and uh, what Starknet does, like the old uh, roll-up thing. And yes, so I got to know about the programming language Cairo. I first learned about um, Starknet back in 2022 at um, Web3 Lagos conference, the first conference they had actually. Uh, I met with Paul and Darlington, talked about oh, Starknet, the Starknet that Honestly, the whole conversation, I didn't understand what they were talking about. But fast forward to um, after the conference, I did a little bit of like research and I sort of like picked my interest. I just finished like a Solidity Bootcamp from Web3 Bridge and the whole um, Solidity ecosystem looks much, very much saturated. I was like, okay, Starkness seems very new right uh, why not just like dive into it and see so that piqued my interest going into a new uh, environment and then um, learning a new programming language something like a different paradigm entirely not like the conventional stuff you're um, used to so that was like the major thing that piqued my interest and um, uh, being a part of like the community like being the, a part of the early contributors I would say it piqued my interest, yeah. My first encounter with StackNet is um, the Cairo programming language. I heard about the language from my sister. And as of then, I was still um, learning about Web3 generally at Web3 Bridge. So I wasn't able to um, explore. But fortunately, after the program, we had um, a Cairo master class. My StackNet story began in 2022. Like I said, uh, first of all, uh, the Ziki Bootcamp with Encode Club, uh, I got to know about Cairo. We wrote some Cairo there and Cairo and StackNet too. But I, I was like a bit fascinated because like uh, we had this plenty of things to do. First of all, there was then Protostar was still like under development, so we had to use Nile a lot. And now it was like a very complicated. I ran into a lot of issues and uh, going to their documentation it was almost like documentation it was not written for like normal human beings it was like very difficult to follow and stuff so i was like okay uh maybe uh it would help to have simply uh, more simplified articles and so i started writing articles uh i, I titled it then um uh journey journey to cairo something like that i've actually even forgotten so but i started the articles and then uh, i remember hopping on on one space and i i i, I met louis who was the ecosystem lead on that space so he sent me a dm and got to talk we hopped on a call and he was like okay there was web three leaguers coming up and if uh, i would like to like represent them and he also connected me with paul so he, he told me about paul was also doing some things as regards to stacknet and so i hopped on the call with paul too and i think we flew to lagos or web three lagos and i guess that was how everything started so uh, we started holding boot camps more persons joined the team and uh yeah that was just how we started growing the community and stuff and thus far i would say like uh my when i when i when i reflect on my journey uh on starknet right i would say it's been nothing short of amazing because uh right before starknet i was really not uh, i really did not was not one to like focus on something for so long so just hopping on, on one thing to another so i remember uh before i encountered zk i was working as a um solidity developer with the company lagos and um, yeah so when i joined the zku cohort by harmony i had to like quit my job to focus on that and so i was just like that i was just everywhere so but when i got into starknet i was like okay this was really the place i wanted to be long term and yeah even uh when i think about it right uh, starknet have literally touched every part of my life even financially things are a lot better than it used to be previously and uh, technically um, quite a better developer right and uh, when it comes to like uh, should i say 
um, connections and stuff, right? I've, I've been able to like meet and uh, basically relate and interact with a lot more, like a lot of smart persons in the space, right? Thanks to like um, the roles I've occupied in the ecosystem thus far. So it's been an amazing journey and um, one I would really like a lot of persons to experience, right? It's, it's a rewarding ecosystem right it, it rewards hard work i think stacknet is the first protocol i would say rewarding um newbies in the ecosystem after the master class i wasn't expecting anything i had rewards i had help from my mentors and yes basically it's rewards hard work so i think it has helped um, developers within the africa community to um improve their skills and also like henry reward why um learning and also like searching for full-time role Stacknet is a ZK rollup, a ZK Valuity rollup, right? Its architecture is quite different from the normal Ethereum um, that we have. So um, there's this um, EIP or ERC rather um, on Ethereum that turns um, NFT into um, uh, smart accounts, right? So we sort of like brought the idea from Ethereum to um, Stacknet. So that is what we've been building. And then I would say we like we are like um, eighty percent complete. And then we're looking to we are looking at um, extending it um, um, with the future of like enabling interoperability between Ethereum and Stacknet based on that project. The biggest project um, I think is on Stacknet right now is DeFi, different DeFi protocols. Yes. All right. I see Stacknet as um, in next five years as the top. Um, layer two in the ecosystem, right? And we are sitting in Africa, basically, and the fact that we're focusing on community, right? I see Stacknet as a go-to blockchain for Africans, basically. And the fact that if you take it back to like two years ago, a lot of people didn't know about Cairo. But in the next five years, I feel like more developers, more technical writers, more designers will know about Stacknet. And um, recently, we launched a community. Um, Based um, contest, right? Where we had non technical guys do designs and write ups, right? So these are things we're actually going to focus on, like going forward. And we're actually also going to do more meetups, more um, conferences, and more of this um, contest, basically. If you want to be part of the Stagnet Avera community, you can join our Telegram group, right? We also have a Twitter account where you can join. And if you have specific questions, that's what you can ask. And we have conducted like several boot camps that you can just head to our YouTube channel to like have a look at the videos and all. And um, yeah, Stagnet, like what actually makes Stagnet um, very unique is its community basically. And we encourage anyone to like come join us and contribute. <music>